So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology OnePlus 6 versus iPhone 10 full comparison. Let's find out what's the better deal here. Now, right off the bat, you can say price is the better deal. That's the obvious answer. Of course, you're gonna pay like 50% less for a OnePlus 6, but that doesn't make it the better choice for everybody. It's David versus Goliath here, LeBron James versus the Warriors. Go ahead and give your pick for game one winner down below in the comments section. Back to the comparison. This video will be time coded. So in the description area, you can go to the section that you like the most. And I do wanna let you know that all of these opinions and experiences are my own so some things might come off subjective not everything's going to be boring objective facts that you can just read on a spec sheet so let's get into it by talking about the key specifications okay so kicking things off with the one plus six you're looking at a 6.28 inch optic amoled display that's 2280 by 1080 display here and uh, it's not quite as sharp as the iphone 10's display but it's definitely sufficient enough for the price point. 16 megapixel camera on the rear combined with a 20 megapixel sensor and that's 2160p recording. This also has eight gigs of RAM, at least my edition. You can get this with six gigabytes of RAM. And this has a Snapdragon 845, which is basically the best CPU that you can get on any phone right now. And it's combined with a 3300 milliamp hour battery that does support dash charging. So those are the key specs that really matter here. And they're pretty nice. They're definitely flagship level for the OnePlus 6. Now, speaking about the iPhone, we have a 5.8 inch display. This 1125 by 2436. Apple always goes with a little bit more of an odd resolution compared to a lot of other manufacturers to get that retina display. 12 megapixel camera with 2160 p recording this is a dual camera with a telephoto lens so it can zoom and retain that quality optically so that's a pretty nice touch you have three gigabytes of ram on here and an apple a11 bionic chip which is just really a crushing performer this thing performs like a macbook and i stand by that ever since i've had this phone you know, yes, it's had a few glitches and hangs because of iOS 11, but in terms of its sheer processing power, its sheer performance, just like the OnePlus 6, it's super powerful. 2716 milliamp hour battery here on the iPhone, and you do have no headphone jack, whereas you do have a headphone jack here for this, you know, OnePlus 6, and they both do have notches up at the top, but we'll talk more about those when we get into the display sections. Those are the key specifications that matter here for the iPhone 10. All right, so let's begin with the body, the build and design. We'll kick things off with the OnePlus 6. The obvious elephant in the room is the notched display. Now you can hide the notched display on the OnePlus 6 after the first update you do receive with this phone. So you can see it is now gone. So if you don't like it, no problem it's gone but we're talking about body design build here and a lot of people will make comparisons to iphone 10 because iphone 10 was one of the first to make this you know trendy uh essential phone was one of the first to bring the notch if not the first and you know this phone right here made it super trendy one plus six now comes with a notch similar to what they did last year with the one plus five and five t coming with that same looking dual camera so it seems like they seem to take a feature or two from apple throw it in their phones every year that's just my take on it right here but does that make it a bad display absolutely not we'll get into that more on the sides it's pretty thin it comes in at 7.8 millimeters for the one plus six at the bottom you do have a speaker grill you do have your usb-c and that nice headphone jack which is always nice to have on a phone on the rear glass build to keep up with the industry everybody's doing glass one plus said let's throw in some glass but one plus also said no wireless charging and that my friend is not a good good choice there you know a lot of people are using wireless charging on their samsung devices been using them for years you know a lot of people are using them now on their new iphones that just came out the 8 the 8 plus and one plus you said no i mean what's up with that i mean there's 10 15 chargers on ebay amazon that most people can afford and they can charge there are one plus six fast if you would have included the feature but it's not there anyway we'll move on from there you do have a fingerprint scanner right here and that camera looks pretty similar to me to a galaxy s9 plus but on its own i think it's a beautiful little device i think that there's a few things i don't like about it when it comes to you know it kind of taking a mashup of two different phones like a galaxy s9 and an iphone 10 it's not super unique yet it's kind of ironic how it says designed here by one plus Yet the device seems like it's not truly unique or designed by OnePlus. It seems like it was, you know, inspired by two phones and then 
designed by OnePlus. So I don't think they should have included that designed by OnePlus, but that's a personal opinion. That's not objective. That's just my take on it. But personally, this design to me is pretty good. It's nicer than some of their previous designs. And I think most people will like it. It'll feel like a premium phone for the price. And on the front, you do have Gorilla Glass 5. So keep that in mind. Now, I'm not going to talk too long about the iPhone 10 because we talked about it so much, but this has a 7.7 .7 millimeter design, stainless steel around the edges, glass and front, you know, it has the camera over on the left. I don't like how it sticks out a lot, but it's a pretty clean design. It has the notch display here. No headphone jack. The Apple really wants you to use them AirPods with this device. And it has IP67. That, that's another thing the OnePlus doesn't offer is a water resistant rating. This does have wireless charging and it does have a scratch resistant glass. Apple doesn't state that it's a Gorilla Glass. It's oleophobic coated. And uh, that's about it for the iPhone 10. Buttons on the left has a, a mute switch here. OnePlus also has a mute switch right here on the right side. Just want to keep that in mind. It's kind of different from how it used to be on the OnePlus 5T when they put the silent switch over here on the left and the volume rockers on the left. So they just basically moved the silent switch over on the OnePlus 6 here. But that's basically the iPhone 10. Great build quality. It's held up very well. It gets some scratches on the stainless steel and uh, at the bottom it scratches up a little easy. But it's a sturdy, durable, clean, you know, comfortable grip phone. Pretty nice design here. Definitely feels you know, the price you paid for it, thousand dollars or whatever. Some could argue, no, it doesn't. But to me, it feels very, very premium. So that's the iPhone 10 body and build. But I'm going to give you my winner and which one I think is better in the body, the build and design. And I think that's the iPhone 10. I think it just feels a little more sturdy. It feels easier to hold in one hand. And uh, there are similar weight here they're not too much different in the weight department and the oneplus 6 just feels a little bit more fragile than the iphone 10 so i think overall build quality body design the iphone 10 is still ahead of the oneplus 6 but that's not to say the oneplus 6 is bad for the money it's fantastic i think it's a little more comfortable than the galaxy s9 plus in the hand it's a very comfortable six inch device and uh, most people won't have a problem with it but the iphone 10 to me is the better everyday designed phone all right so let's talk about them displays again we're going to begin with the one plus six this is more like a 1080p display it is 2280 pixels by 1080 it's just like a 1920 by 1080 it's just on a different aspect ratio 402 pixels per inch this is a dci p3 color gamut so it's very very well calibrated seems a lot like the iphone 7 plus for example in its calibration going into display you can see screen calibration you could change it from default srgb you can go to DC IP3, which is the one I personally prefer. You have the adaptive mode, which is kind of like true tone. It'll just adapt to your environment. And then you have your own custom color where you can make it as cold as you like it and as warm as you like it. I think it's a fantastically calibrated display. It looks very nice. The only difference between a OnePlus display and like an iPhone 10, a Galaxy S9 Plus, premium devices is its resolution when you do look very close at nighttime specifically at text and i mean close you got to be like laying in bed looking close at the text it's not when you're out and about on your day to day you will see a little bit of pixelation or not pixelation but it just doesn't look as sharp as some of the flagship displays on that text you're never going to see it here on video but if you put them side by side in person it just doesn't look as sharp. But in terms of that color, that color accuracy, the vibrancy, it's all there for the OnePlus 6. And that makes it an overall fantastic display for the money. So it's not a bad display at all. Okay, so for the iPhone 10's display, you're looking at a Super AMOLED display here. Now this one has 458 pixels per inch across a smaller display. So it definitely is sharper than the OnePlus 6, but it's not as noticeably be sharper as like the Galaxy S9 Plus, which has way more resolution than the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 and the OnePlus 6 are rather close in their displays, but the iPhone 10 is still a little bit sharper as well. And it's definitely a little bit more noticeably sharper than the OnePlus 6. Also, this display does feature 3D touch. The OnePlus 6 doesn't feature that, but they kind of have a feature that does a similar thing. When you touch it, it vibrates and it the phone vibrates and it gives you like a similar thing. So it's almost the same not every app does it 
but some do. You see, you can only uninstall there. Some of the system-based apps do it, but you have 3D Touch here on the iPhone 10, and you have True Tone Display here for the iPhone 10 as well, which is kind of like the adaptive mode, but there's no custom control over the iPhone 10 like you do have over the calibration levels on the One Plus 6. When it comes down to it, I think both displays are closely, closely matched, but I think the iPhone 10 is slightly better because it's a little sharper and to me, it just looks a little better on the day to day when it comes to its overall color accuracy and things like that. The OnePlus 6 is fantastic. And if it was on a scale of one to 10, I'd give like the iPhone 10 a nine out of 10 and I give the OnePlus like an 8.5. So it's very, very close, but sorry, OnePlus, the, the iPhone 10 has the better overall display here in terms of just pure sharpness and just pure calibration here. It's just a tad better than OnePlus 6 display. All right, so let's talk about software. With the OnePlus 6, you do get Android 8.1.0 Oreo. That's pretty much the latest software you can get right now. OnePlus is pretty fast with their updates and they do update their devices for like two years easily and relatively quickly. 5.1.5 Oxygen OS. Oxygen OS, you know, is basically Android stock with a few features laid on top, some very useful ones as well. If we search gestures, let's go to gestures. This is a new feature in here. Well, it's not new, but you have many gestures. You can do a long press to take a photo. One thing I don't like is OnePlus remove the fingerprint swipe gesture, which is really annoying because I love that feature. It feels very premium and very kind of intuitive. Like you would just want to swipe that fingerprint to bring down your notifications. You can't do that here on OnePlus 6. You can see flip to mute. You have three finger screenshot and you could customize all of this. So this can be a very simple software or a complex software depending on who the user is. Now you can customize the alert slider here. You can also change the buttons. So let's go to buttons here and you can do navigation bar and gesture. So here's where you kind of make this like an iPhone 10. So if we do navigation gestures, now it's gone and you have kind of like a gesture based OS kind of like you have on the iPhone 10. So we'll go into an app for example, and then to come home, you just swipe up. That's similar to what you would do on an iPhone 10 and it feels very nice. So you can hide the notch, you got gesture base. So like I said, with the design, it's like a mashup of different phones in one. So going back to buttons, I'm gonna put it back on the fixed navigation bar, which is the way I personally like it here for this device. You can swap the buttons. You have all these actions you can do. You can also change the font in this device really easily. You can change the display theme. So if we do, the theme, you can change it to light, you got a dark mode, you got lift up display, but you don't have uh, always on display. They took that off and I don't know why they would do that. OnePlus says for battery reasons, but users love, a lot of users love always on display and that's not a good thing. I hope that they bring that back in an upcoming update. You got LED notifications. I mean, it's simple yet loaded with features that customize the device. This is like for those people who really like to root their phones without having to root it. This phone is one of the best for the customization factor, I think. That's the OnePlus 6. Very clean pixel-like software. You can even change on the home screen. If we go to home settings, you can change the shelf. You can change your icon pack to round, square. There's more in that store. You can even change the amount of columns you have, the icon sizes. There's a whole bunch you can do here. You got many widgets in here as well. It's just like, to me, it's like a pixel software with just a few more customization add-ons that you know people who really like to customize their phone will like. But if you like a more minimal, clean software, I think the Pixel 2 still has the edge over the OnePlus 6. Now, getting on to the iPhone 10, it's iOS 11.4, the latest software edition here. You know, iOS 11.4.1 beta is out now. Um, I didn't download that one yet, but the official 11.4 is now available. It's cleaned up a lot. Since the original iOS, there's not much lag at all on iOS 11.4, battery life is strong for the iPhone 10. It's iOS, you know, the new control center. We've been talking about 11 forever, so there's not much to talk about. It's a grid of icons. It's got the flat UI right here and uh, control center up here. Uh, there's just a lot of features that you gotta go through and find. Again, Apple is very simple as well, but they do have a lot of hidden features in their accessibility settings and throughout the settings menu. So, you know, very clean operating system. You know, you don't have an app drawer here 
for the iPhone 10, you can set up the OnePlus however you want. So to me, they're both very clean softwares, but they can be complex if you do, you know, dig around in the settings. But for the everyday, they're both simple enough. And it just comes down to whether you want to be in the Google ecosystem or you want to be in the Apple ecosystem. Now, I do think that Apple will give you longer support for updates. So if you're looking for longer support and faster updates, you want to be on the Apple device. But if you want more customization, but you want a similar smooth feel as an iPhone, the OnePlus 6 offers tremendous value there. So that's how I feel about their software department. Let me know your thoughts on which is the winner in software. And one more thing I want to mention about software before we close this section out is that I do think the Google Assistant feature is much better than the Siri so far on the iPhone. This might change when WWDC rolls around June 4th, but I would pick the OnePlus for an Assistant you know, only phone. Like if you use your Assistant a lot, you definitely want the OnePlus is a much better device, I think, for just your per assistant. Now, people will say you can get that Google Assistant on the iPhone 10. What are you talking about, Nick? It's not as fluid. You don't have your home button that links right to Google. You don't have widgets that you can just tap that microphone. You got to go into the app, tap the microphone. It's just more steps on an iPhone, and it doesn't work as well as it does on a Google phone. So for assistance, I would pick the OnePlus overall. Now, moving on to their performance differences, I'm not gonna talk long at all about these. This was the first speed test I did on the channel between these. Go ahead, check it out. Link is down below or up in a card. You really wanna see that video if you wanna see what their performance like. Long story short, the OnePlus 6 basically matches the performance of this $1,000 iPhone 10 in everyday tasks. Yes, the A11 on paper is a more powerful processor. You have way more RAM though on a OnePlus 6. In the day-to-day, -day, the OnePlus 6 actually feels faster than an iPhone 10 because its animations are much faster, but the iPhone 10's performance feels extremely fast and fluid. So if you like a more fluid, polished feel, you're going to like the iPhone 10 more. Personally, I think this is pretty equal and I wouldn't make my decision based solely on their performance specs. Next up is their security differences. The iPhone 10 and the OnePlus 6 do offer face unlock. The face unlock has been rumored or actually reported to be fooled by a photo. So of course, this is not going to be the most secure phone we all knew that the face unlock on the, iPhone, on the iphone 10 is much more secure but you do have fingerprint authentication here you have your typical pattern unlock you've had an android for eons and uh it's a pretty it's encrypted out of the box the oneplus 6 so it's a pretty secure phone i just wouldn't use face unlock if you care too much about security but if you like care about convenience the oneplus 6 is one of the fastest face unlocks on the market you can see that in my speed test i did a face unlock comparison in that speed test as well on the iphone 10 10, you have the facial you know ID here on the front and you know I love the security of it I love that you can go on apps and you can authenticate your face that really is awesome but it's a 50 50 experience here for me on the iPhone 10 with face ID because it fails so many times like every time I open it and I'm not looking at it perfectly this thing fails every time so face ID needs accuracy improvement in terms of how fast it responds to you opening the phone but it kind of makes up for it when I go into my apps and I can authenticate with my face. That feels very cool and premium, very innovative. So I really do like Face ID, you know, for that factor. Now, just based on security, I think if I cared a lot about keeping a phone a very long time and security, I would pick the iPhone 10. So overall, I think the face unlock feature is it's kind of close again, but I have to give it to the iPhone 10 just because it's a more secure you know, face ID and it has more features like it can authenticate your face. So the iPhone 10 to me wins in the security round over the OnePlus 6. All right, so I wanna take a second to talk about the storage. Now on the iPhone 10, you do get up to 256 gigabytes of storage, goes up to 1149. You get 64 gigabytes to start at 999, no 128 gigabyte option there. You do have 64, 128, or 256 gig all in the 530 to $630 price range for the OnePlus 6. So from a pure storage standpoint, the OnePlus 6 just really crushes the iPhone 10 from a value storage standpoint. You get the same amount of storage for way less money. However, I find that the storage on the iPhone 10 is a little more efficient, meaning that 
it doesn't go down as quickly as what might happen on the Android device. Just the file formats are a little bit more efficient and I find the storage should just last and last on the iPhone 10. It's also a little bit faster in my experience to transfer things with this device over this device, but only slightly. Other than that, both do offer a lot of storage. You just get more for your money with the storage on the OnePlus 6. So I'd go with the OnePlus 6 if you're looking for the most bang for buck on the storage department. All right, so let's talk about that camera with the OnePlus 6. I've actually created a detailed review on this camera already, so you can go check that out if you wanna learn more. But let's just get into the software and talk about it. 16 megapixel plus 20 megapixel OIS on board, 4K 60. The software is great. It's very simple to use. They have this 2X button, but it's not optical 2x so it's kind of like why is it there you could have just went like that but at the same time it's cool it works it doesn't lose too much detail when you go to the 2x mode so i like that it does have the timer right here hdr settings four by three you have your aspect ratios you have your flash right there you can lock exposure just by holding it down go up here and then you could go ahead and change this you can pull up to access all these other modes, you have video, portrait, slow-mo, goes to slow-mo 480, so super slow-mo you can get on this phone, 720 only though, and 1080 at 240, so there's a lot going on here when it comes to the camera. You got that pro mode, which gives you very easy settings, you can do raw photos, you can change that aspect ratio again over here. Look at that little chart we have, that's awesome. And we do have this over here, time-lapse, and we do have the panoramic. So this can be an easy or complex camera, but at the same time, I think when it comes to just point and shoot, this thing is simple to use, easy, and I really do love what OnePlus did here with the camera. It's a very simple to use camera interface. Now the photos themselves are gonna be subjective whether you like them or not. We'll compare them here in a second. You can hold down the burst, and of course you can always shoot photos with the volume button on pretty much any phone. Now on the iPhone 10, you do have one of the best cameras on a smartphone as well. You can also hold down the burst. It feels a little bit more fluid on that burst mode for the iPhone 10. You have video modes, but you gotta go into settings to change video modes. What a hassle here for the iPhone 10. Slow mode is the same thing. You gotta go all the way into settings to change it. And it's not even in the camera app. It's a really a headache here for the iPhone 10. You have the portrait with the natural light, contour light, stage light, all this stuff. You got your square mode for Instagram, and then you have your pano. On the photo modes, you do have some filters. You have the timer. You have live photos, you have HDR, flash, you can flip the camera right here. You can shoot just like you can with any other phone with the volume rocker as well. I think the iPhone 10 has a fantastic camera app, but it's missing that core setting that just allows you to change things in the app, which kind of ruins it if you're trying to do something fast and you forget that you left your video in this format and you want to use a different format. It really does become a headache sometimes. So I think OnePlus gets the win when it comes to software in the camera app, but who actually has the better camera? Take a look at these samples and decide for yourself. Okay guys, so let's talk about their audio differences. You do have a single speaker on the OnePlus 6, which I don't like over dual speakers, but you do have dual speakers here for iPhone 10. But I don't like that the iPhone 10 doesn't have a headphone jack, whereas the OnePlus 6 does have a headphone jack. I got this little tool. We're gonna measure the decibels and see that which one has a higher max volume. Now, we're gonna test the bottom speaker, but I have to test the top speaker as well on iPhone 10. So we're gonna do the 10 twice, but this one just one time. So let's begin with the OnePlus 6 in three, Two, one. One plus six versus S9 plus speed test. Coming up right now, let's go. Okay, so the one plus six maxed out at 104.5 decibels. So that's pretty loud for a single speaker. We're gonna reset this and we're gonna get on with the iPhone 10. So three, two, one. So the iPhone 10 maxes out at 99.3. So at least according to my digital sound level meter, the iPhone 10 definitely wasn't louder than the OnePlus 6. Now let's go ahead and redo that for the iPhone 10 on the top speaker to see if anything changes. Three, two, 
one. Okay, so you've seen that the iPhone X's top speaker was 100.4, so it seems like they're both around 100 here on the iPhone X bottom and top. But the fact that you have, you know, bottom and top speakers for the iPhone X makes this phone just seem a little louder because it's coming out of two different directions. So nice speaker performance in terms of loudness on the OnePlus 6, but dual speakers, more than one speaker, I think gives the edge to the iPhone X. But if you want a headphone jack, you got the edge to the OnePlus 6. So essentially you're deciding between headphone jack or louder, or not louder, but dual speakers for the iPhone 10. Okay, it's time to get on to their battery life on both devices. So battery here for the OnePlus 6 and battery here for the iPhone 10. Now, let me just tell you, both of these phones are, ni neither one of these are the best on the market when it comes to battery. The Huawei P20 Pro, is destroying both of these in longevity in terms of how long that phone lasts as well as the mate 10 pro those 4000 milliamp hour batteries are just crushing it but both these batteries will get you through a full day easily iphone 10 will and the one plus six will but i found that the one plus six lasts at a little bit longer than the iPhone 10. This is like one day and maybe a couple hours. This is like 1.5 days on the OnePlus 6. So both batteries are day long phones, but not much more. And that's really all I got to say about the battery. The standby time though is better on the iPhone 10. So if you want better standby time, I still think the iPhone 10 is the way to go. The OnePlus is not bad, but the iPhone 10 leaves me with more juice when I just leave it sitting there. It seems to not drain at all. The Pixel 2 is also good at standby, but the OnePlus 6, it's good, but it's not as good as the iPhone 10. So I think battery life wise, you're basically choosing a similar phone. They both get through a day, but if you want those extra features like wireless charging, you know, you're gonna want the iPhone 10, but they don't give you a fast charger in the box. So if you really want a fast charger, you want the OnePlus 6. It's pretty close draw here when it comes to battery. They both offer their own strengths and weaknesses. Both are day long phones though. Okay, so here we are with the call quality section of this video. I've made multiple calls on both these phones and there is a clear winner here. That's the Apple iPhone 10. Now I'll tell you why. When I was using the OnePlus 6 for the past several days since I've purchased this phone, especially on the speaker phone. People said, what did you say? What did you say? Multiple times. And I had full signal. So OnePlus 6, not a great phone calling experience for me so far. Even when I was talking in the earpiece, I still heard it a couple times. What did you say? I couldn't hear you. And that's got nothing to do with my service because I popped the same SIM card in every phone. I come over to the iPhone 10 and I have very clear, crisp, call quality and it has very loud speakers for those speakerphone calls. Again, that speaker you've seen in the audio section is loud for the OnePlus 6, but it's more full because it's coming out of two speakers on the iPhone 10. So overall, if I was picking one of these phones purely for a good phone calling experience, the OnePlus 6 has actually been a rather disappointing phone calling experience. That's not their specialty. The iPhone 10 crushes it in the phone calling experience. It's very crisp, very clear, and very reliable. All right, so the final conclusion is in. OnePlus 6 or the iPhone 10, which is the better phone here? Now, we're not gonna talk about price. Let's get the obvious out of the room or out of the studio, out of the video right now. If you're looking for value, if you're looking for price, hands down, the iPhone 10 is not even in this combo. The OnePlus 6 is the way to go. We know this. We know that for the money, this is the best phone you can buy. You got the Honor 10, you got some other Huawei phones that are pretty competitive, but the processors, the Kirin 970 is not as snappy as Oxygen OS and the 845 CPU. This thing is a screamer on the OnePlus 6. You got a great camera, but talking about the phones themselves, which one do I think is better? I think the iPhone 10 is the better phone here. Let me explain why. The iPhone 10 has a more comfortable feel in the hand. Day to day, it's easier to reach the top of the display and that's gonna be the case for most people. Wireless charging makes it feel like a more luxurious phone. The stainless steel is super durable on the sides even though it's very scratch prone, you know, the shiny silver gets very scratched up. It feels more sturdy in the hand than the more fragile feeling OnePlus 6, but 
one plus six doesn't feel cheap it just doesn't feel as sturdy in the hand to me as that stainless steel on the iphone 10. the big one for me was the phone call quality the phone call quality is superior easily on the iphone 10 over the OnePlus 6. Now, it seems also like the iPhone 10 is more original. It feels like, you know, using a OnePlus 6 that there's an obvious, you know, copying going on here over this phone. And I'm not trying to be on Apple's favor. I use all these phones and when I use this first and then I get this and then it just feels like where's the originality OnePlus, then I feel like the iPhone 10 is the classic, the original design. Also, I think that the iPhone 10 has a better camera on the rear, even though the OnePlus takes some nice saturated photos, some nice punchy, nice colors for its price point. The iPhone 10 to me has a more consistent experience. Everything looks well calibrated and very consistent. All the photos look very on point. So overall, the 3D touch also feels more refined than this 3D touch thing that you can do on the OnePlus 6 and only certain applications. So IP67 as well, no water resistance here. To me, of course, the iPhone 10 offers more and it's the better phone here. But if you're looking for price, I think that the OnePlus 6 is the way to go. And that's my final take on the OnePlus 6 versus the iPhone 10. Either phone you go with, they're closely matched. The iPhone 10 just offers more in my personal experience. If you guys found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Enjoy your OnePlus 6 or iPhone 10. Nick here helping you to master your technology. Be sure to be well. I will catch you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching and peace.